Hello, I'm Min Ma of Manographics Customer Support. I would like to talk about the new features in Hyperlinks 9.0, which was released in May 2013. This release is packed with many new features, which we will talk about in details in the next few slides. I would like to point out that this release is available for you to download from SupportNet with your current support contract. I'll be covering these new features listed here in details. Just to highlight a few, Hyperlinks 9.0 now includes a new trace modeler, a new simulator, and DDRX wizard in line sim. The first main feature which adds more accuracy is the new trace modeler. It accounts for the effects of traces crossing over plane voids and coupling to area fills. The first segment shown here is surrounded by area fills on the top layer and references to the layer directly below. You can see that characteristic impedance is approximately 55 ohms. The next segment does not have any area fills around it but it still references to the layer directly below. You can see that the characteristic impedance is around 57 ohms. The next trace segment goes over a gap therefore removing the layer directly below but now references to the layer far below. As you can see the result is the higher impedance of 147 ohms. Hyperlinks 9.0 also includes a new simulator which is called HyperSim. It is at least five times faster than the previous Hyperlinks native simulator. This means you can simulate longer bit streams efficiently with shorter time. It can simulate IBIS and S parameter models. Aldo ADMS is still available if you need to simulate spice buffer models. It also supports IBIS 4.0 and higher syntax to assign S parameters and SPICE models from within the IBIS model. It supports ISS standard which stands for IBIS Interconnect SPICE Subcircuit. With the new simulator you now have the ability to override the simulation time step to a desired value. Another major feature in 9.0 is the DDRX wizard in line sim. It adds productivity by being able to investigate thoroughly in pre-layout stage preventing respins of the design. You can set up the topology of the nets easily in line sim to mimic the DDRX nets. You can then sweep different parameters of the nets using the sweep manager within the wizard to derive constraints which will give you the optimum solution. The DDRX wizard in both LineSim and BoardSim now includes support for DDR3L and DDR3U. It also supports JEDEX standard signal quality measurements such as overshoot and undershoot with area. It also lets you select the AC thresholds to be measured automatically from the IBIS file or you can select manually. The AC threshold selected not only affects the measurement points but also changes the setup and hold requirements and derating table used. All batch simulations in 9.0 allow the SI PI COSIM which includes the effect of the VIA intersecting a transmission plane or coupling between multiple VIAs that intersect the same transmission plane. 3D area modeling has also been improved. You can select an area of a net and send it to the 3D field solver with ports already assigned for S parameter creation. Once the S parameter model is created, it gets substituted back into the net for simulation when the net is exported to line sim, including the 3D areas. In addition to the oscilloscope, you also have access to EasyWave, which is an advanced waveform viewing and measurement tool. 
It has built-in measurement tools which enable you to make required measurements easily and precisely. It can be open by simulating a net or multiple nets or standalone. You can simulate a single net or multiple nets with automated measurement results from either LineSim or BoardSim. The simulation produces multi-cycle measurements for SI, crosstalk, and delay in spreadsheet format. Multi-cycle measurements are useful for long nets or nets with a lot of capacitance that may not settle to a steady state during the simulation of the first bit. In Hyperlinks 9.0, you can now extract S parameter of multiple channels at once using the batch mode. You can compare, for instance, the return loss and insertion loss of different channels and quickly figure out which channel has the worst response. The existing IBIS AMI simulation method uses worst case bit pattern simulation as basis for creating maximally stressed eyes. The statistical analysis method has been added to Hyperlinks 9.0. It uses purely signal processing techniques Therefore, it requires that channel is linear time invariant, but you can now run longer bit streams much faster. The display of DC drop simulation results in the power scope has also been dramatically improved. You can now view the copper shaped locations, such as the edge of cutouts or voids with finer granularity. You can see the difference of the results in 9.0 in the picture shown here. Non-functional pads or NFPs are pads without any trace connection on the VIA pad stack. These pads, if not removed, can add more capacitance to the VIA. If you plan to remove them during the manufacturing process, you should also remove them during the simulation. In Hyperlinks 9.0, you can remove the NFPs globally by a click of a check mark as shown here. Adding model library paths have been also made easier. The add design folder and the add design folder subfolder options let you add all the subdirectory paths automatically to the list. You can click the plus sign beside the main path to display the added subdirectory list. You can also add or remove any path from the list by clicking on the checkbox. When you invoke Hyperlinks 9.0, you will get a welcome screen which has direct links to the tutorials and important support net materials. The options at the bottom of the welcome screen allows you to filter the icons and simulation options available in BoardSim and LineSim. You also have easy access to the most recently open designs by clicking on the recent button. All the icons and buttons have also been updated in both LineSim and BoardSim. As I've I have mentioned in this presentation, Hyperlinks 9.0 adds accuracy, efficiency, and productivity. It is equipped with signal integrity and power integrity features required for today's challenging high-speed designs. For more detailed technical information on these new features, please see the tech note MG582943. If you have any questions regarding these new features, please contact the customer support. Thank you.